Hello, welcome to a new creature tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the new real-time morph targets game engine functionality of the creature animation tool. Okay, so our goal today is to get this owl character over here, actually turn its head by user control in Unreal Engine or Unity or any other game engine that creature supports. Now, to start off, we're going to be introducing a couple of concepts and we're also going to be using the new morph targets functionality of creature to accomplish this. Before we begin again, I want to say that we have to actually set up the different poses for this character. So if we take a look at this owl character over here, I actually have different poses. I have a pose basically that has the character looking down. I have a pose that has the character looking left. I have a pose that has the character looking right and I have a pose that has that has the character looking upwards and of course finally sorry I left one one out I also have a pose called rest in the rest position now this sample this owl sample is actually down, downloadable from the creature samples page so you can go take a look at how it's constructed but basically the idea is we just have a single mesh grid deform motor on the head and we basically deform the head and make it look in a certain angle to fake a, to, to, you know to fake a, a pseudo 3d effect head turning effect right now the default animation which we're not going to be using for this the morph targets shows you the owl turning in different head angles and it's actually driven by the advanced animation controllers, right, which is covered in another tutorial. This tutorial is not about animation controllers, but it does definitely show you the potential of such a fun the, the functionality. So anyway, let's go talk about the morph controllers. Now, having set up the different poses, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on export and game engines, and I'll see you in the game export menu. Okay, so now we're in the game export mode. And as you can see, it's playing the default animation, but we're not concerned about that today. We actually want to control the morph targets directly from the game engine. So how do we do this? Move your mouse over to the frame operations button, click on it, and you'll see a drop down context menu. Click on morph targets. Now here's where the cool stuff begins. We are actually going to be setting up the different poses that we're going to control in the game engine. So first of all, there you can change the number of points of your morph targets however you want. Um, I would say four because we have four different poses, left, right, up, down. And of course, we want, we want an additional rest point. So we check that as well. And then it's a matter of going in and assigning the different poses that you want the morph targets to target, right? So I have it set up like this and the center one, I have it at the rest position. So once that's done, we can actually test out the effects of the morph, morph targets by clicking on test. Okay, so here is what it's going to look like at rest. Now notice as I, as I let me just, okay, notice as I drag the points around, the character is actually changing its pose, right? And that's pretty cool. And that this is purely based off the different poses you've set up and the system actually smoothly blends between the different poses, even in the polygon itself. So you can see how useful this is to actually have a 2D character have a pseudo 3D head-turning turn, head movement that actually targets a certain point. You can actually have a character look at a certain position in your game or your demo or what, whatnot, right? So a very powerful feature. And just by dragging this point, you can actually simulate or see how this character will behave in your game engine when you actually put it into the game engine. Okay, so this is how the character will look like. Once you are done, you're happy with the results, you're happy with the setup, you close on it, you click click close, close, and then just follow the usual export options to export out your character. The morph targets information is encoded in the metadata asset. So depending on which runtime you're using, please make sure to connect up the metadata asset into the appropriate runtime before continuing. And then I'll see you in the next screen, depending on whether it's Unity or Unreal Engine, and I'll show you how to hook up the real-time morph targets in the appropriate engines.